Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Christy and today I have a small Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I needed to pick up some items for the girls' lunches and I needed to pick up some things to take on our trip with us. So I thought I would go ahead and show you some of the new items that I picked up while I was at Dollar Tree today. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. Make sure you comment below because I like to chat with you all. And if you like Dollar Tree hauls, make sure you give me a thumbs up and feel free to share this video if you'd like. Just a quick disclaimer, if you don't follow me regularly, then you may not know, but I am leaving on vacation next week. So I will probably have very few videos up. I usually post about five times a week, but I will, I can't make any promises. I don't know. I'll try to get one video up, but that's about all I can do. <laughs> Chris has already made me promise that it will be vacation and no work. So if you don't see me much next week, that's why. But when I come back, make sure that you're around because I'm sure I'll have a huge Dollar Tree haul to share. Okay, my store that I went to today had the Revlon Color Silk Glowing Blonde in. I picked up the red and the brunette last haul, but this time they had in um, the blonde and the black. These aren't just for color treated hair. I did look on the website and there's a whole excerpt on there and it says it's for natural hair, highlighted hair, or color treated hair. Um, I know that Briley's already been using this, the one for red hair on her hair. Kerrigan does have, um, is it balayage or whatever it's called? She's got dark brown hair like I do, but then all the tips are like blonde. So I thought that this would be good for the ends of her hair just to help make this last, the color that's in her hair. Um, it says protects color, provides shine, and they only had the shampoo, so that's what I picked up. Okay, they had some of the car fresheners in, in the Armor All scent. I had picked up the, I think, pink grapefruit for Kerrigan's car a while back. Now they have this one in. It's called Fresh FX, and it says it's an odor elimination technology that is incorporated into this. It destroys odor such as food pet and smoke it says it lasts up to 30 days you just hang it by this little cord right here like off your rearview mirror or something like that it says it's new car smell it's got a little scratch thing right here so you can scratch and sniff to me it doesn't smell like new car it sort of smells like a man's cologne so i don't know if i'm gonna put this one in chris's truck or preston's jeep but it's gonna go in one of those to help eliminate some of the odors Hopefully it works. I'll probably be kicking myself for not picking up more. I had a subscriber a while back send me a photo of these. And these run, I think, almost $3 at Walmart and places like that. So these are a really good deal. Okay, they were stocking the books. <laughs> and I was a sucker. So I picked up three of the same book. I had just had this conversation with my mom. I'm not picking up any more books. Not doing it. And... Then I pick up three of these. But what these are is it's the Art Therapy and Inspiration Notebook. And these retail for $12.95. These are not a Greenbrier brand. And it's got like the little um, marker that holds it. Or you can hold your place where it holds the book closed. And when you open it up, it says this book belongs to. And you can write your name. Um... This notebook will inspire you to color, write, doodle, and draw. There are quotes to ponder and plenty of blank spaces for you to fill in any way you wish. I think that is just so cute. Here's some of the pictures inside. It's got lined pages so you can write down things. Is this not just absolutely gorgeous? So, of course... I picked up three. I picked up one for each girl, and then I picked up one as a gift this Christmas. So, picked up all three. They still had more, but these are just so cute. Right here says coloring, drawing, idea, notes, quotes, and anti-stress. Okay, I did pick up one of the Crayola products. They have a ton in right now. I've added pictures before. 
but I usually don't pick them up, but this one is an amazing deal. This is the eraser tops for your pencils. They look like little crayons too, and they come in tons of colors. As you can see, there are 30 erasers in here, and I don't know about your child, but mine, I swear, I think my nine-year-old eats the eraser because it's gone way before the pencil ever gets sharpened, maybe twice. So I went ahead and got her these. Oh, she needed a pencil box and I completely forgot. I'm gonna have to pick her up one because she broke hers the other day. They also had in some Elmer's Craft Bond and it's three in a set or in a little box. It says, applies and dries clear. It is a glue pen, a pre precision tip. Um, Let's see, dries strong, adjustable before setting, and it is non-toxic. So I picked up those for me and Kerrigan to use. Okay, since we are going to Disney, I wanted to get a Disney tote, a little one of these, one of the little bags. Um, I'm going to put all of Briley's stuff in it that she will need in the car or things to entertain her in the car on the drive down to Florida it's going to be pretty packed. Lucky for me and for all of us, Dollar Tree has a ton of Disney products in. This one just has the three princesses on it and I thought it would just be cute. They also had in one of the Anna and Elsa balls and I don't know if you can see it, but it sort of looks like a snow globe where it's got like snow inside. Let me see. And it lights up, so I'm going to put that in there for her, too. And in the kids' section, um, where the coloring books and stuff are, they had a Disney reading comprehension book. It says Adventures in Learning. I was trying to see. This isn't a Greenbrier brand, but it does not have a price on it. But I went ahead and got this for her, too, and I'm going to put it in that little bag. Since they are out of school for an entire week, I don't want her to fall behind too much. She has issues in reading anyways and comprehending, so I thought this would be really good for her. You got a story on this side and a few questions to answer over here and some other activities. Uh, let's see how many pages are in here. Um, 30 pages, so that's a pretty good deal. I'm going to try to get her to finish this before we come back, and if she does, then I'll give her, I'll give her another treat. I'll bribe her some other way. But I'm going to put several, like I said, items down in this little tote, and then just put it in the floorboard so that she can get things out of it as she needs, and hopefully a couple of snacks too, just entertainment purposes. I also just picked up one of their little pair of earbuds while I was there. That way I can just throw it in Riley's little Disney bag and she'll have that. If she wants to listen to music or play on her tablet or watch a movie, then she can do that without being interrupted by whatever the rest of us are doing. I did pick up a pair of their socks because I've been wanting to try these. These are the men's performance low cut socks. Here's what they look like. You only get one pair and these are for me. <laughs> um, these have mesh ventilation, also arch support and a cushioned footbed. So I thought I would wear those with my tennis shoes while we're walking around one day. So I wanted to give those a shot. And then I had to pick up several items for the girls or basically Briley's lunchbox. I do lunch videos and I like to make, you know, I like to follow the trend of the season. With it being fall and Halloween, I needed some items to dress up the lunch boxes. So I picked up two of the bags. These are just the zipper seal bags and each one of them has 40 in it. This one says happy Halloween. And this one just has like little scary goblins in their vehicles, the scary trees, the haunted house in it. This way I can just throw her a snack in here to take to school, um, like maybe chips or our grapes or something like that. And they'll just be decorated for Halloween. Also picked up some napkins. They had tons of napkins to choose from. I just picked the one that had all the jack-o'-lanterns on it. They didn't have the small ones that I normally like to get, so I went ahead and got the big ones. 
And then they had the little rings, and I'm gonna use this to decorate the lunch boxes. These are just spiders and skulls and bats. And there's 50 pieces in there. And then last but not least, I picked up some googly eyes. Okay, I did pick up just a handful of food items. Picked up a loaf of bread. I picked up the Nature's Own Butter Bread. It's one of our favorites. We love this. So it's got a good date on it for a dollar. You can't beat it. I don't think it has a retail price on it. It doesn't. And I picked up just one of the Good Health uh, veggie straws in the jalapeno for Preston because I think I still have two here. So hopefully that'll be enough to do him next week while I'm gone. And I picked up some of the fresh and soft um, flour tortillas. And you get 12 in here. The girls love quesadillas, especially Briley. So I was out. I had to pick those up. <laughs> and the last food item I got is for Kitty Kitty outside. Many of you have asked about mittens. She is doing great. I'm going to assume it's a she. Um, eating like a pig so I pick these up and I just fill a container with this um, and that way I can just dump it out um, it looks like a little cereal container so I just dump it in her bowl but this lasts gosh probably almost a week because I feed her once in the morning and once at night and I just fill the bowl up okay I do have tons of pictures so make sure you stay tuned for those at the end I wanted to show you Quincy he got groomed yesterday. I had him trim his ears just a little bit shorter than normal. He was not happy. I know I've said it a million times. He hates to go to the groomers. And when he gets done, he looks like he weighs a total of eight ounces. He looks so skinny. <laughs> He's camera shy. I do have a few shout outs that I want to do. I checked my P.O. box. Um... A couple of days ago and I had some packages in there and I needed to thank these ladies for the wonderful packages they sent me okay I wanted to thank Shanita I hope I'm saying that right I know I've went through this before with your name but she sent the girls some pics for their lunch and it was so sweet I'll insert a picture right here they were so cute and I've already been using those so you'll see those in a video coming up thank you so much and then Christy sent me a lovely note and some nails of course, Kerrigan's already laid claim to these. These are her, these are her all-time favorite. They're the stiletto look, and they're the beige color, sort of a neutral, so she loves those. And then these, I've never seen these for, and there's 12 nails in it. Here's what they look like. Are those not just so cute? Thank you so much, Christy. And then Bridget, I've already thanked her um, in the comments section. But I wanted to thank her again and show you guys this that she sent me. She said she wanted to send a gift basket, but they're too hard to mail. But goodness, let me show you. Look at all this. She decorated the box with all these owls and fall stuff. She put a little note in here for each one of the kids and even Chris and the animals. I mean, it was just so amazing of her. Look at all this. And she put tons of owl stuff in here. We love owls in this house too. Look at these. She put the little clings in here. I already had this on my stove. I had to take it off. But is this not absolutely gorgeous? I love that. And then this just clips on like this. It just buttons on over the little handle. And then this just hangs. Absolutely love this. It's gorgeous. She also sent me some nails which I'm going to be taking these to the beach with us. Um, of course, a sweet note. She also sent a little owl that I'm going to put out for fall because I think owls just remind me of fall for some reason. Some cute as can be socks. Look at these. They've got little like spider webs on them right there. And they're the fluffy soft socks. How cute are those? This basket was absolutely just stuffed with just tons of goodies. Seriously, that was so sweet of you, Bridget. I really appreciate it. That was just, just beyond imaginable. Thank you so much, sweetie. Again, I thank all you ladies for the gifts that you send me. You don't have to send us anything. You really don't. But when you do, that's just, 
it's just so sweet. I mean, to know that you guys think of me as your friend as I do you and you know my family from me talking about them and inserting pictures and having them dart across the screen. <laughs> It's just, it's just nice to have a friendship like we do, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Okay, that's all I have for this Dollar Tree haul. I probably already kept you guys about 20 minutes. I'm sorry, I just blah, blah, blah. I'm just this chatty Kathy over here, and I apologize. I just can't help myself. I feel like I'm talking to you guys, especially when you just comment below. We just have this back and forth going, and you know how I can get. I just talk forever. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. I do have a few pictures of some items that you might want to check out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.